Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Sunday morning vlog. It's another Sunday morning with the Mackenzies. Thanks for being here. Now, I know last week we said that we were going to go out in the desert. We did a big build up for this big adventure, <laughs> big but you know, the check engine light came on on the truck, and that was the end of that. <laughs> and the next thing we know, we're in for $1,100. $1,103 later. <laughs> and it's still not done. It's still not done, no. yeah. Um, I think next month, some, so, some more on old Duke oh before Oh my gosh, I tell you what, uh, we were this close to head out. And thank goodness we didn't go, because I think we would have run into trouble if we had. Anyway, we're here. Paula decided that she was going to go do another breakfast for you folks, and she did. She went down to the Strip. Where'd you go? Well, almost the Strip. I went to the Virgin Hotel on Paradise and Harmon. We've been dying to get in that place, so I did my 6 a.m. peek in at the Virgin Hotel and have some breakfast. Not only that, she toured the hotel as well. I did. I did a walkthrough of everything that's done. Not everything's done. Things are still under construction, but there was a lot to see. All right. Not as planned, but guess what? This adventure starts right now. Off we go 6 a.m. on a Wednesday morning in May for a midweek breakfast adventure. Exit at Tropicana. Cross the strip and head up to the corner of Harmon Avenue and Paradise. There's the strip a couple blocks off to the west. You can just barely make out the MGM Grand. And here we are. The Virgin Hotel Las Vegas just opened barely a month ago, and we have been dying to get over here to have a look-see. You may remember that the resort on this spot from 1995 to 2020 was the Hard Rock, with great memorabilia, a Hard Rock Cafe on site, and of course, the joint for concerts. <laughs> I'll tell you what, a 25-year run is not bad for Las Vegas. Enter the Virgin Group and their first foray into the Las Vegas market. They bought the Hard Rock for $500 million and put another $200 million into renovations. There are now over 1,500 rooms on this property, all fresh and all new. But before we go in, we need to just stop and take a moment to appreciate this landscaping. The theming inside and out at the New Version Hotel doesn't transport you to Paris or Rome or the Middle Ages. It pays homage to right where you are, the Mojave Desert. It's described as a modern desert oasis, rich with earth tones, cacti, and succulents. What other Las Vegas resort can boast Joshua trees and saguaros in their driveway? We absolutely love it. All right, enough distractions. Let's grab one of these cool Geo door handles and head inside. Speaking of geodes, check this out. It's the bar at Commons Club and it is beautifully screened by geodes right inside the main entry doors. The bar is open 24 seven and in fact, at 6 a.m. there was a bartender on duty. The Commons Club Lounge is one of the most appealing and inviting that we have ever seen. It is meant for you to settle in and enjoy your favorite craft beers, locally sourced wines, and English-inspired cocktails. I'll tell you what, we're ready right now. We just love the cozy and colorful seating options in here as well. But wait, 
You aren't going to believe this place. It's called the Shag Room, and it's available for your social event or private affair. It's designed with a nod to the famous Studio 54, and the website brags that it's the lounge other lounges are jealous of. We think it's fabulous, and guess what? What happens in Vegas gets memorialized in this photo booth. Who's first? Step right up. Across the main entry to the left is this gorgeous lobby. Seriously, isn't this just beautifully decorated? The plants aren't real in here, but they do carry the theming through perfectly. And there are no ouchies if you just happen to touch them. The hotel is part of the Curio Collection by Hilton, and you can actually book on the Hilton website as well as the Virgin site. The hotel rooms occupy three buildings, one of which is all suites. The basic king room is almost 500 square feet and is going for about $100 on a weeknight. Carrying through on the desert and native theming, the rooms are called chambers, and you get a dream catcher on your pillow. And if you still need convincing, there are no resort fees, no parking fees, and free Wi-Fi. Let's take a peek at the casino. What's notable about this place is that it is a Mohegan Sun Casino, the very first in Las Vegas to be operated by a Native American tribe. The gaming floor is 60,000 square feet, with 650 slot machines, many kept from the Hard Rock days, and more than 50 table games. And around the corner here, we've got a nice little sports book that's not quite open yet, but looks like it will be very, very soon. Now, here's a fun fact. The new owners endeavored to retain the Hard Rock's original 1,850 employees with paycheck bonuses if they returned to work at Virgin. Guess what? 1,300 of them stayed, and I think that's really, really neat. The Hard Rock was known as a top destination for entertainment, and Virgin Hotels wants to retain that reputation. The joint music venue has been renovated and will debut later. 24 Oxford is named after the location in London of the first Virgin Record Store and is, of course, the resident nightclub. And there are grand plans for the pool and beach club. The models on the website look fantastic. We always like to show you some work in progress on these early morning jaunts, so here you go, the pool's under construction. There are or will be a dozen restaurants and bars on the property, including a few that were retained from the Hard Rock days. Nobu, MB Steak, now rebranded as One Steakhouse, and Forte Pizza. This is a pizza walk-up counter brought to you by the folks behind Ferraro's Italian restaurant. The menu features pizza, meatballs, and Italian street food. This looks like it's going to be an over-the-top ice cream experience. The chain originated in Southern California and lines around the block at their 27 locations are the norm. I'll tell you what, I can see this place taken off. It is a perfect fit for Las Vegas. This spot has to be our favorite in the whole resort. It's called Casa Calavera, and it comes to you via the wonderful Hakkasan Group. This is their second location. The original restaurant is in San Jose del Cabo in Mexico. Casa Calavera features traditional Mexican cuisine. Mexican Calavera art, and a Dia de los Muertos theme that is just beautifully done. There's a restaurant and bar inside, and there will be a patio location overlooking the pool later on.
The Kasi Beach House is still under construction due to open later this month. The theme will be Coastal Italian, and it too will be accessible from poolside. Night Market is another SoCal import. This is award-winning Thai street food that has won countless awards since its inception in LA 10 years ago. The menu features old country Thai recipes with a dizzying modern spin. Now, let me just say that not all the restaurants are open yet. More deliciousness is to come. All right, enough of the wandering, the filming, and the photos. It's time for the main event. This morning, we are headed to the Kitchen at Commons Club, a venue that can be found in all the Virgin Hotels. It is a huge space, perfect for your large dining party, and we just love all the little circular seating alcoves and cozy pillows. Plus, there's just something about orange in a restaurant. It just works. The kitchen is open 24-7 with a contemporary American menu and, according to the website, a British brasserie vibe. The menu is international but definitely honors the British roots. Plus, breakfast is available any time of the day. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to breakfast at the Virgin Hotel. I'm at the kitchen right now. I just ordered breakfast and they do a little bit of an English or British emphasis here. So the first thing on the breakfast menu was the full English. I had to order it. Let's see what happens when it gets here. Good morning again. My full English has arrived and I have scrambled eggs, crispy bacon, some bangers, which if you've never had a full English breakfast, that means sausages. And I also have, of course, some obligatory baked beans and a roasted broiled tomato. I'm excited. This looks like the full English I had over in Scotland. So I am going to dig in. Start with some hearty English breakfast tea, of course. Fluffy and hot. Good flavor. Baked beans for breakfast. They're good. All right, I'm diving in for a sausage. I definitely need Dale here. He's my sausage guy. He loves this. Very good. It's not typical American country pork sausage. It's not Italian sausage. It definitely had a, has a very British bangers type uh, seasoning to it. Very, very good. I'm a big fan. All right, last but not least, let me dive into my tomato. I'm a big fan of broiled tomatoes. Love these for breakfast. Topped with roasted garlic. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that for breakfast, but we'll go with it. All right, I'm gonna eat my breakfast now. Stop watching. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I just left the Virgin Hotel, standing out here on Harmon Avenue, just ready to head to my car and go over to work. It's a Wednesday morning. Wow, did I have a good time. I think I've been here about two hours total. I walked the whole property, interacted with all kinds of people that work here. They're all super, super nice. And uh, I hope I got some good footage for Dale to put together for a vlog for all of you. Your first peek at the Virgin Hotel and my full English. Man, that was good. It was uh, authentic and delicious. All right, off I go. Thanks for being with me. We will talk to you soon.
Nice job, Paula. Give me a big fist bump. You did a heck of a job on that. That was a terrific video. Well shot. Well, well eaten, I think. That was amazing food. I didn't even get a bite of that sausage. I am tempted to say, so Dale, what'd you think <laughs> of that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I really liked it a lot. Yeah. One thing, if you've been watching these breakfast at, you know I had a little issue with some English breakfast tea a couple weeks back. Well, guess what? This was supposed to be a British brasserie. This is how they advertised right. it. Not only did they not have English breakfast tea, they had no black tea at all. So what are you going to have for breakfast? I said, okay, I'll settle for green tea if you have it. Let me show you what he delivered to me. It was not green tea at all. It had a picture of a green tea leaf on it. It was actually <laughs> mint, <laughs> was mint it? herbal tea. So... <laughs> I'm having a hard time with the tea. I need to go to the UK because they know how to do proper tea over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and one of the things we want to say about this was it was a tiny bit expensive. I'm going to say it before you do. 40 bucks for one person to have <laughs> breakfast is a little steep. That was a little steep. <laughs> for an egg, a couple of pieces of bacon, some sausage. I don't know. If I had been there, it would have been close to 100 bucks. Uh, it would have been more, yeah. It went, I, I have to say the toast was extra. It did not actually come with the full English, so the toast was 5 bucks. But so. nonetheless, it was a terrific video. I really enjoyed it. I wish I was there. I am going to go back down to the Strip sometime. we got all kinds of things going on here. Actually, we'll be at the Strip next week. We've got a few things going on. Yeah, we so. got we got all kinds of things that are happening. The, uh, coming up this Wednesday... I'm having a root canal. He yeah. is. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's going on, and that has nothing to do with the vlog. In the it just midst has to do with life. And and <laughs> and this was the week that we should have been be doing another Paul's Kitchen too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll get to it as I think soon as we can. To. All right. So uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. Anything else, Paul? I want to say I've been trying to stay on the comments on YouTube, and your comments are so lovely. They Thank are. you all yeah. so much. And some of you have sent a picture of that Mexican casserole that you made. You just warm my heart. So and, and thank all you. The lovely comments about our new granddaughter too. Uh, just yeah. absolutely yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Mikey lovely. Jean. Yeah. So thank you all for all the good wishes and all the kind words. Alrighty. Hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye bye everybody. Bye, everyone.